like how are these talks going to uh, conclude? Do you think? So it looks like uh, a deal is going to be uh, going to be struck, right? So we've been arguing for some time that China has been very willing to give significant ground uh, to try and avoid an all-out trade war. I mean, you, we can argue whether we're already in an all-out trade war, but certainly uh, prevent further escalation. The key question was whether the Trump uh, was willing to actually strike a deal, whether he wanted one. And I think the weakness in the U.S. stock market uh, in Q4 last year uh, um, sort of ignited the, the need for him to sign a deal. Um, so before that, it had been China market weakness and U.S. market strength. That was probably nirvana for him. Yeah. But as soon as it starts feeding into U.S. market so describe the shape of the deal uh, that you're expecting. So, um, so obviously going to be a several prongs. Um, so, I mean, the previous uh, speaker was talking about the uh, you know increased uh, imports of U.S. goods. I think that's pretty clear. Okay, China uh, buy more stuff yeah, from the U.S. Okay. Increased access to the local market, Open a market uh, and, and obviously US companies? Okay. addressing intellectual property right issues, which they've already done some uh, signed some legislation into power. Obviously, people will be skeptical, I think, still as to how it's going to be implemented. Of course, um, but I think you know China is is really bending over backwards to avoid this escalation so I think overall um, I, I think it's going to be positive the only thing I would sort of disagree from the previous speaker was maybe closing the bilateral trade deficit is not going to be easy it's going to take a lot of work especially uh -huh. when the when the US is stimulating through fiscal policy so aggressively right so mm. if the econ US economy continues to do well continues to suck in imports from different countries including <laughs> China do, right? yeah. so it is going to be it isn't a slam dunk that's going to be yeah. successful in, in closing that bilateral mm. defi the deficit but I don't think it would be for the want of trying okay and I got to ask uh, we're assuming also the tariff stay capped at 10 yes. not go up to 25 for how long do you think so I think for the next six to 12 months, I think we'll be okay. okay. Naturally, as we head into the next election cycle, the temptation to re to resurrect yeah, this, yeah. these concerns and resurrect the need for China to do more, I think is, is very real, okay. especially if the president is languishing in the polls. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.